you are going to a military themed party in Nigeria. Are you wearing a camouflage shirt as a non army staff? <laughs> See, yeah, I have a very, 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 very terrible voice, and I'm not even going to, you know, try to hide it or anything like that. I would the misconception about women having to get married. Like, that is like it's supposed to be your choice. The filler. <laughs> My god i feel so aroused now but the truth is that i'm actually i'm actually Hi loves and welcome back to my channel if you're an old subscriber and if you're new here thank you so much for tuning in consider subscribing to my channel because in this channel we still <laughs> We spill tea, juice, coffee, everything spillable. This is where it goes down. <laughs> so yeah, consider subscribing. So in today's video, I'll be doing Nigerian tag, which is a bunch of questions, which every Nigerian should know the answer to, and every Nigeria has a peculiar answer to themselves. Like, all I mean is that every Nigeria is unique in their own way. So the first question here is, what is my Nigerian name? what is your nigerian name and what does it mean well my nigerian name is chiwendu and it means that god owns my life i think nigerian names are always very meaningful especially the traditional names parents actually take their time to give their children names with like exceptional exceptional meanings okay the second question is were you born in nigeria uh yes i was born in nigeria i i live in nigeria and yeah the third question here is what is my favorite nigerian movie um these days the movie don't really get me like they used to back in the days like when i was growing up when i was much younger they used to like make really nice movies well i would say my best movie is osofia in london or all these aki and popo movies like if you give me anyone now i'm very sure i would watch it again and again and again and i won't get tired of watching it because they are really nice and all these kids they pull off and all that <laughs> it's really nice watching them my eggless will be worshiping me then very soon I will go for the chieftaincy title. <laughs> then I will answer Arturo's or one of the Yenta village. <laughs> Arturo's or one. Ah! Money is sweet. Arturo's or one, eh? Arturo's or one, eh? Not to check again. Arturo's or one. It's really nice watching them. Why did I stop? <laughs> well, the first thing is the first question is my favorite Nigerian song. Right now, my favorite Nigerian song is Duduke by Simi. That song has a peaceful vibe to it. It's a very, very peaceful vibe. Like, oh my god, it's so nice. Duduke, du, du, ke. <laughs> See, I have a very, 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 very terrible voice, and I'm not even going to, you know, try to hide it or anything like that. I would. So yeah, that's my favorite song. And what is my Nigerian favorite food? Ha! This one get a CBO. This one is difficult though. This one, ha, hey, ha, how do you want me to answer that? Me that I like food. <laughs> okay, well, well, it depends on the category now. Let's put it that way. It's, is this swallow? Do you mean swallow or do you mean like a normal food? Okay, for the normal food, I would say I like yam, fried yam, boiled yam with uh, egg sauce. Yeah. And for the normal traditional food, <laughs> oh god, okay, I'll say masala soup or oha soup or vegetable soup. 
I'm saying oh, 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 oh. <laughs> but well, that is the truth. I love all those. I love, I love all of them with fufu, mm. or semo, or wheat, or eba, gari. Anyone, it goes. Everything goes <laughs> as long as it's either sala, um, oha, or vegetable. I am good. But sala is my all-time favorite. My favorite. So the next question is, when was the last time you were in Nigeria? Do I look like I am in the abroad? Hello, am I in the <laughs> am I in the abroad? Oh well, I am in Nigeria. I am in Nigeria. I am a Nigerian. I was born and brought up in Nigeria, so I am in Nigeria. What tribe are you? I am Ibo. There are so many tribes in Nigeria. There are also 200 tribes. Ibo, Yoruba, Aousa, Efik, and the rest of them. There are a lot. But the three main tribes in Nigeria are Aousa, Ibo, and Yoruba. So I am Ibo and I am proud to be Ibo because <laughs> we are from the most indigenous part of the country. No offense to anybody, <laughs> but it's the truth. It's the truth. The Yoruba people will come for me, but <laughs> I really don't care. Say something in your tribal language. Onu mama Jesus. Onde onu mama Jesus. Afamobo Madam T. All the way from a bags. <laughs> a woman with uncompromised dignity. Oh yes. <laughs> okay. Okay. I can't if What that simply means is that um, I don't know what do you want me to say. I don't know what to say, but whatever you want me to say, I will say it. Yeah. So the next thing here is, what do you like the most about being Nigeria? Okay, I like, first off, I like the vibe, I love the vibe that that comes with being Nigerian. I love the fact that no matter what, what life throws at us, we are always able to, you know, pick ourselves up and survive in every situation. Like, if there's no light, we'll survive. If there's no food, we actually would survive. I like the fact that we hustle our way through things and that makes us stand out from the rest of the world. Great wealth comes great responsibility. Gold diggers, please keep off. Being wealthy is not a hobby. It's a lifestyle. From today forward, I shall be referred to as Her Royal Highness. I think it's getting a bit too hot in here. <laughs> so cheers, guys. To escaping poverty <laughs> yeah uh, the next question here is what do you hate the most about being Nigeria there is a, a there's a whole lot to hate I hate the fact that this country is disorganized I hate the fact that the government is not trustworthy I hate the fact that there nothing like nothing functions they cannot keep they cannot give a law and people will abide by that law because the government is not a steady one we cannot rely on our government that's what i mean we can't rely on nigerian government they will fuck you up big time did i just say the f word but it's the truth the next question here is do you have any nigerian nicknames <laughs> um would i say that i have okay beke that one my dad calls me at least uh chi 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 when when do but that was like all for my name that's it but my baby boy calls me nemo <laughs> so i don't know if that is a nickname well that's not a nickname since it's just him that calls me that so like the next thing here is what Nigerian foods do you dislike? My dear, my dear, 
my dear let me tell you that i don't dislike any food per se anyhow it be you go chop on <laughs> i don't really dislike nigerian food i don't think i dislike any food maybe uh i don't really eat it as often as i would eat every other thing maybe that would be beans yeah, that would be beans because I think I eat every other thing. So, the next question here is, do you speak your language fluently? <sighs> well, yes, I do. <laughs> yes, I can speak my language fluently. I'm a sibo of a I'm a pieces in toto. Okay, the next question here is Do you speak pidgin language? Have you pidgin English, sir? Yeah, so, yes, yeah, so I've been Nigerian, babe. Nothing spoiled for that side. I don't speak anything with for this Nigeria. Anyhow, it won't be make it be because. <laughs> Everything we still there for this nation because nothing we don't feel wrong coming from this place. Now from here they burn us now. How fun now they feel like. <laughs> Oh my god, I feel so aroused now, but the truth is that I'm actually I'm actually I'm aroused. <laughs> Just a little bit. <laughs> okay, the next question is what is the ridiculous question you have been asked about your culture? I wouldn't say it's a ridiculous question because it's actually something to be proud of. Proud of, sorry. They often ask, why do we like money? The Igbos, we love money. We love money. I mean, we love money. Ha, huh, God. We love money. Ah, uh, well, they say that because like, okay, something else that is ridiculous about my tribe is that the girl when it's time for a girl to get married in the traditional setting uh on a normal day like regularly like it's a it's a must you pay the girl's bride price it's not like you're buying her but it's just a mandatory something that you have to do you have to do it <laughs> you just have to do it like it's compulsory to pay a girl's bride price so in some parts of my tribe in some parts of the Igbos, the bride price is always very very high so like the whole the whole we like money we like money thing just came about like that and yes we like money we hustle for money like if you hey Igbos are so they are so rich like we are actually very very rich and i am so proud of that i'm proud that we work hard to get what we want i am so proud super 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 proud great wealth comes great responsibility gold diggers please keep off being wealthy is not a hobby it's a lifestyle from today forward i shall be referred to as her royal highness so the next question here is who is the current president of nigeria hmm. how would you ask me that that man is very annoying well the current president of nigeria is the president uh muhammad buhari that's his name sing <laughs> This one here is funny. <laughs> this is so funny. <laughs> Sing the Nigerian national anthem. Okay, okay, okay. Do I have to do this? Do I really have to do this? Okay, they specifically said I should sing the two stanzas of the Nigerian national anthem. Wow, 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 wow. The two stanzas, really? As far I'm dumb now, I don't know it. I know the I know the nation. Do I need to prove myself right? <laughs> okay, for the sake of this video, I'm going to sing it. <clears throat> Arise, oh compatriots, Nigeria's call obey to serve our fatherland. We love and strength and faith. Labors of our heroes, but shall never be in vain. <laughs> to serve, I'm lying. To serve in light of mind. The nation bound in freedom, peace and unity. That person, that's the first stanza. I feel so. 
<laughs> the second stanza oh god of creation that reigns our noble cause guide our leaders right and if i use the truth to know in love and honesty to grow the <laughs> trust and true great love the heights are ten to you the nation real peace and justice you reign yeah <laughs> this is so terrible why would they ask me to do that okay how many states are there in nigeria there are 36 states and their capital in nigeria they didn't ask me to recite so bauchi bauchi but i said i can sing though people think it's because of but i can recite it so so mm -hmm. the next question here is what do you say when they bring the light up Nepal, full current <laughs> <laughs> I don't know where the full current issue came. Like every Nigerian generally say up never. But me we add that full current. Because sometimes they'll give us half current. <laughs> okay. So the next question goes like this you are going to a military themed party in Nigeria. Are you wearing a camouflage shirt as a non army staff. I'm not a hear word. I'm not a hear word. I get coconut head. I. Who bore you? Who are you? They will flog you, eh? They will come call you. You will put that shirt there and then. Like Nigeria, Nigeria, the Nigerian army always, they always believe that. Oh, because you're not part of the army, you cannot wear the camouflage shirts, you can't dress like them, like that is what is unique and peculiar to them. And if they see you wearing it, <laughs> you are pulling it off, and they're going to beat the living daylight out of your body. <laughs> so, my dear, I won't do that. I won't. So, the next question is. What misconception do people need to stop having in Nigeria? Ah, uh, that's a difficult one. That is okay. I think the misconception, the misconception about women having to get married, like that is, like it's supposed to be your choice to want to get married. I don't know if you get me, but. In Nigeria, they believe that if you reach a certain age as a woman and you are not married, then there's something wrong with you. And why? Why? Why is that so? Why is that so? I don't know, but I think we need to curb that attitude, that thought, the mentality of women having to get married at a particular age. Am I one and only? You're the woman that I want to spend the rest of my life with. Period. It. Now, the last question. <laughs> the last question here is... <laughs> now... <laughs> I'm sorry. The last question here is... Toast a woman like a Nigerian man would. Hmm. Hmm. Ne 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 now. Check any yourself out now. Baby, look at you now. Eh? Baby, come let me treat you right. Ne piano. Oh, come now. You're dear to my heart. <laughs> See, eh, our Nigerian men, they don't try. They don't try. Especially those old cargo village people. If they want to toast you, eh? Hey. Come let me spoil you. Let me let me tell you guys one experience I had. Okay, when I, when I was in my first year in university, I was uh I was getting to my hostel, it was around eight o'clock in the night. So this man <laughs> this man stuff his car like baby baby come let me spoil you baby come let me take you and go land and land and land the world baby come let me buy you i buy you i no, i buy you car not uber again i buy you private jets you go anywhere in the world you want to go 
Guy, yeah, like I cannot forget that. <laughs> I cannot forget. I can't forget that. I can't take that picture off my mind. I cannot. I I just I just can't go. It is stamped here. It is in my memory. It can't leave because I can remember how hard I laughed at everything, everything. Well, this is the end. We've come to the end of this tag and i hope you really enjoyed it because <laughs> i think i did enjoy it and i'm sure you also enjoyed it so please don't forget to subscribe to my channel like this video comment down below and comment down below any experiences you had and um share share this video too i love you so much i'll see you guys in my next video mm.